Hi all, let's discuss about how to enable breakpoints in SSIS package or what is debugging in SSIS package. So before going to discuss about SSIS level, first let's talk about what is debugging. So debugging is a developer flexibility. So de debugging is a technical developer flexibility to identify the output during the execution of a program or a package. So as a developer, so you can easily identify the expected output of a particular program or package or task. So now let's talk about how to enable a debugging in the SSIS package. So you can enable the debugging in two levels. So one is at the control flow level, the other one is at the data flow level. So in the control flow level, so we will be debugging with the help of the breakpoints. So now let us see how to enable a breakpoint. First, before going to enable a breakpoint, let's uh, uh, design a package with one or two tasks and configure those two package two tasks are now. So I, I have taken one execute SQL task. Let's configure this. Let me show you what I did. So I have uh, established a connection and I, I prepared a query as select count one as count from EMP table. Okay, so to capture this count, I have declared a one variable and I made it as result set as single row and so I mapped that count to the user count variable. Okay, so now whenever I run this particular package, the number of rows in the employee table go and sit into the user count variable. Okay, so now I am planning to observe the output of a SQL statement or output of a variable during the execution of the package. Now how to enable a breakpoints. So right click on the task. So select the edit breakpoints. So this is a place where you can enable a breakpoints. By default all the breakpoints are in the disabled mode. Now if you see I just enabled one breakpoint which talks about break when the container receives the on post execute event. It means that it just executed and it is about to finish. So I am going to execute that. It means that I am going to get that number of rows from the EMP table and assigning to the user variable, user count variable. Okay, so I am going to uh, observe that during the execution, during the post execution of a event. Let's click on this particular event. Click on OK. Now let's run this. How to observe it? Yeah. So see, it is keep on executing. So till you say continue, it executes forever. So now to observe the user variable during the execution. So now it is executing. So let's go to the so watch one. So watch one is 46. Now if you see here, let's enable it's uh, expand this type is integer value is 46. Okay, if you go to the variable section, the default variable I made it as 30. But during the execution, it is showing as 46. It means that so I am observing the variable value during the execution. It is nothing but a debugging. So debugging by default is in disable mode in SSI package and debugging will help the SSI developer to observe the output during the execution of the package and it is a developer flexibility. Thank you for watching. Keep watching our videos.